bad question, Honigan. Sorry to hear that. I'm sending you a playing manual. And there goes the fourth wall. I'll take a look at it. Thanks. Jesus Christ. That was. I, I, you know what I love about this game is its subtlety in all things. Resident Evil is known for its subtlety. Well, I mean, I guess if you, uh, since this is a digital version, obviously, mm -hmm. uh, you wouldn't have the manual, but they still could have done it, uh, done it slightly differently. Oh, I think that happens in the game. I don't remember, but I think that happens in the GameCube version too. They just like give you the the, the controls. Um, and then here's some chicken cam because I know you'd enjoy that. Mm. Just giving you a little bit of that chicken action. Uh, and now we're about to go into the part where I completely fuck up trying to do the speed run because strats because um, I'm really bad at throwing grenades actually, as you're about oh. to find out. So you're supposed to, you're supposed to go in this house. The game will not let you proceed until you've. Uh, triggered this cutscene as far as I know anyway which is sort of weird because you can just spend forever running around that village and more and more villagers will come and you'll eventually run out of ammo and die mm. well I mean they put a lot of effort into that scene so obviously you need to see it in order to proceed well and how would we go on, go on without admiring Leon's curly locks one more time or flowing locks one more time well, he doesn't really have locks. He, he just... That was the worst throw ever. What was that? So I, you're supposed to throw it through that little hole, and I'm really bad at it. I, that should, was I a corner. Play. That wasn't a hole. <laughs> there, there is a hole. Like, just <gasps> con I see the. I, I, I mean, yes, there is a hole, but you were throwing at the corner. Oh. I wouldn't be much better. Now, now that it gets even better, um, because I got all confused about which exit I was supposed to take because you take different ones for different versions and I watch a lot Shotgun. of Shotgun. Yeah. And there you see one of the annoying things. The action button is also the take item button. One of the actions is take items. So if you're right next to a door you need to open and there's a bunch of items there, you can't open it until you picked up all the items. Uh, yeah, that's kind of what you get with a, with the a GameCube controller being the default one. Not too many buttons to go off with. And there's a guy who's really ashamed of how he looks, so he wears a bag over his head all the time. Because bag gives you so much protection. Well, it does make him immune to headshots. You can't blow his head off. Yeah, potato like bags. Guys, you can you take his... Can you take his... Uh, his ch chainsaw? Ch yeah, chainsaw. No. No, he dies it firmly grasped, so there's no way to get his hands off it. And then I just throw a grenade, because why not? Do you also get hurt by the grenades? You do, but that one was far away enough that it didn't matter. And here I really should be backing up way farther, but I don't because I'm silly. Backing up, so backing, up backing up, backing up, backing up. Sickle after sickle. It's still very much uh, like, uh, uh, you know, you can you can shoot the zombie seventeen <coughs> times, or you can kick them, and that's more effective. It's very Japanese. Uh, at this, yeah, in in general, this, like I said, the strategy is get them on the floor, then slash them with a knife. Oh, and you have to listen to. Uh, oh, right, right, right here. I don't know why the game just cut out my audio and then started playing it later. I don't know why. That happened, but maybe they said some say they said something really bad in Spanish, and they ah, never know because that's a language that nobody knows, really. I, yeah, I don't think, but it's it's definitely not wide widely spoken or anything. No, not the like third most popular language in the entire world. You can see it; it got really out of sync because of that. Where's everyone going? That's a brilliant line. It just this this game has the best writing. It's it lives up to its uh, you know um, legacy. Yeah, exactly. I don't think a Resident Evil game with good writing would be any good. No, this one's actually incredibly fun because of how bad the writing is. Exactly. Although, um, 
they felt the need to give every character a motivation for their actions. Um, but you know how the Resident Evil universe is like gigantic. So gold bars. Yeah, it's so it, it, random. Well, the Chainsaw Man, you know, he was pretty well off. He just had a bunch of gold bullion sitting around. And just those little treasure <laughs> chests with adorable little coins. <laughs> See, I, mean, I I like to, uh, and then it turns out they're either they're actually just chocolates. Oh man. Well, you know. The, the the funny thing too about this though is um like it's obviously so arcadey the way they present all that stuff. Yes. Like it, it, it looks like an arcade game. But then they try to still have like a serious and spooky atmosphere. Just, I love I, I love combinations like that. It just feels so out of place. Uh there's another there's another horror game which just takes uh, takes that sort of thing to another level. Uh, you have these uh, monsters that are literally... Uh, it was a Dreamcast game, but it used monsters very similar in design to Dead Space. You, c mm. you, know, you know what they look like, right? Yep. yep. Uh, like, growing out of people's corpses and stuff like that, but mm. then you defeat them with, like... Uh, uh, w with, like, lightning punches and... Uh, <laughs> And like, when they Got die, uh, they uh, they just uh, dissolve into glittery coins. Oh, nice! It's so silly. That that's a great uh, and juxtaposition. It, yeah, and then you have Navi on your side. It's it like it like plays itself out to be a, a horror game, but it just it has so many weird elements. Um. This I never part. got too far into it, but it will be... Oh, <laughs> this looks hilarious. <laughs> he, he runs very quickly when he's got a boulder behind him. Otherwise, he just sort of Charlie Angels around, as you can see. He's got his gun up to his side so he can look sexy for the camera. Um, what are those? That is a spinal. I don't know what a spinal is, don't ask me, but... Yeah. And here I noticed that there's these bats over there. I'm like, I didn't remember these there being bats in here. And I was like, maybe they have stuff inside of them if I shoot them. But no, they just go. So. And yeah, you can see the textures on the inside of this tunnel are very, very much not upgraded. Yeah, that's. I and mean, you know, and every time you pass a bloody cross, you know, with uh, skulls on it, you know you're in for a good time. Also, uh, this, uh, like playing this game at a higher resolution, really makes it a lot easier to see all of those traps, like oh, this yeah. one. Yeah. Because when I was, what little I played of the GameCube version, I kept running into those. Mm -hmm. uh, because on the TV, they were literally a pixel uh, tall. Now, you could not see them if you were if you weren't you, angled right. You also have a lot a harder time aiming because you can't see the dot that you're using for aiming as well. Yeah, it, here it seems a lot bigger. Yeah. They might have to. And now we meet what Japanese people think Spanish people are like. What is he doing in Russia? Right? I, I also like that they actually made the rope look like it was getting untied here. They didn't just have him, like, wiggle his hands. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can still see a lot of clipping, but it's... Uh, yeah, but it's better than... Typically. Better than a lot. And also, uh, it like, looks ropes like... Uh, the... and, uh, ropes and beds are always some of the most uh, difficult things to do in those old games. Mm -hmm. Now, here we see that Rasputin is in this game. Further proving that this is Russia. Exactly. Yeah. Maybe don't, maybe don't Leon use... just does, doesn't know where he is, and he's actually in Russia. Don't use the Spanish gun. Thing. Don't don't use the gun. Just uh, use the, the yeah, punch, you, you use punch the kick. Or kick the, Clearly, yeah. kicking is more effective. Exactly. 